there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this horn that I made for the 3-in-1 um, Ram Baby Blanket and the Ram Lovey. And uh, I'll show you how to make these ridges and how to curl it up. So um, we start with this cone, you have the pattern for it, it's pretty easy. We have crocheted in the back loop only. Uh, so now you will have all these um, um, exposed loops, the front post loops. And so we start with this and what you will need is um, a tapestry needle, a long piece of yarn, um, scissors, uh, the hook you use to make the horn, um, the same yarn as you use for the horn. So let's start by creating uh, these ridges first. So pick up your yarn and we will make a slip, slip knot and then join the yarn. So make the slip knot and then we join in the very first uh, front loop that we have here at the base. So it should be this one. So take the loop of your hook, insert your hook through the very first front loop and then pull the slip knot through And make a chain and to create the ridges we will uh, slip stitch through each of these front loops all the way to the tip so insert your hook pick up the yarn pull through and then pull through the loop and make sure you have a loose loop and again insert the hook into the next front loop yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. And we continue like this. And because we have crocheted in a spiral way, you'll have a spiraled ridge all the way to the tip. So let's make the ridges first. One by one. And the tip here is to make a loose loop, otherwise you will have uh, a tight ridge. So you will want it to be a, a bit loose. Okay, so as you can see, I've made uh, a third of it uh, already. You can see the ridges, and like 3D ridges, and this will give some texture to the horn. Uh, it goes in a spiral way, and just continue like this, all the way to the top, to the very last front loop uh, that you have. So I'll finish this off uh, camera and then I'll come back and show you how to curl your horn. I have slip stitch into the last um, front loop right at the top and now I'm going to cut the yarn and just pull through and all you have to do uh, with this end is uh, weave it in and then I will show you how to curl your uh, horn. So let's do that really quick. Okay. 
okay so now just weave that end so it won't unravel like that so now all the ends have been weaved we only leave uh, this end right here we will use this to sew the horn to the head and now you need a, a long piece of uh, yarn and the um, needle and I'll show you how I curled this horn. So we will start at the bottom and what we're gonna do is thread this yarn through. So we start from the bottom and we just go through each of these ridge. So on the surface stitch in a straight line all the way to the tip. I'm gonna leave a little bit of tail and just continue to thread that piece of yarn a little bit at a time in a straight line until you reach the tip like so. So now you have this yarn going through. Now what we're gonna do is insert the hook into the, not into the same stitch, underneath the next stitch and we're gonna thread that yarn through the ridges. So now not inside of uh, the cone just through these surface stitches in the same straight line all the way to the bottom so you will, you will have two parallel lines okay almost there and again all the way to the bottom okay so now we have these two ends right here you can see the yarn going through the top stitches and all you have to do is pull on these two ends let's pull slowly and firmly do not jerk it you don't want to cut the yarn help it with your hands uh, to keep it bent and then when you have it bent enough just make a knot and when you make the knot and pull it will curl even more just do it slowly otherwise the yarn will uh, break so that's what we have that's the other horn as you can see they're pretty much the same you can actually um, you know push it with your hands in the shape angle that you want and this is the end result and then when it's curled uh, enough the way you like it you can have it uh, more or less curled it's up to you there is no wrong or right answer to this how uh, angle it should be make a knot so you won't unravel so make a couple of knots and then um, these two ends, you can just thread them through the inside, weave them in, uh, and your horn is done. And this is how you make uh, the horn for uh, the ram baby blanket. I hope my tutorial was easy to follow. If you have any questions about this pattern, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Happy crocheting!